on. Like, I don't want to get in trouble with Triple Jai. Come on. Seven. Three, two, one. Platform TV joined by my brothers, Tone Youth, Rob, T. Soko, and Chu. Guys, appreciate you coming in. Appreciate you being a part of uh, this new platform we've got going on. What we want to do is we want to kind of really just give a, a little bit of an understanding of um, what you guys are about, where you guys have come from, um, and what the music is, you know, really saying. Because obviously, uh, platform is about, you know, bringing together the community and really, you know, allowing uh, artists to, you know, share in each other's fans um, and kind of like help people grow the next level. So, you know, how did you guys connect to start off, really? Um, I mean, I suppose it, it first started with uh, Tanache. We call him Socks, but he yeah. obviously goes by T Soko. Mm -hmm. um, I know. I can't pick it up. T Soko, Tanache, Socks. Which one are we going with today? <laughs> Who are you? Many what names. persona are we in today? <laughs> nah, you, you can go with anything. Yeah. anything. Soxy, T Soko, you know? Yeah. All right. Yeah. So originally, like, I met him um, down in Fremantle, mm -hmm. where I live at the moment, um, and so does Chu. Yeah. So we met at a gig at Mojo's, and then, like, throughout the year, I just kept, like, throughout the years, I just kept on, like, bumping into. To socks like wherever i went with whether it be like shows or clubs or whatever mm -hmm. um so we got to know each other and did a few songs like um over the years like on his projects and stuff yeah and then yeah he approached me with the idea of like tone youth like being a collective obviously mm -hmm. we didn't have a name then yeah um and then i've known chu for ages again like we used to do solo shows together here there and everywhere mm -hmm. high yeah, all over. We went to the same high school. Yeah. Um. So we all knew each other. And then Jimmy Jones, like he was kind of on the outside. I didn't know him. I knew of him. Like mm -hmm. I'd seen him around and stuff like that. Um. And then, yeah, Tanache was just like, you know, bring him in. Yeah. Like he's a dope producer. And then at that time he wasn't rapping. And then since we've been a collective, he's just started to rap and um really develop into that as well. So the collective thing seems to be, you know, the the, the hot way out right now. Socks. You know, you, you do music by yourself as well. You have over the previous. Why a collective? For you, you know, what do you get out of it that we that you have? Well, the collective, the whole idea is like a brotherhood, you know. Mm -hmm. Pull in resources together, you know, push each other to do better. We all solo act as well, you know, get together, make some songs. It's just a whole, you know, like get together, you know. Because this music stuff, you can't do it alone. You can never do it alone, you know. Mm -hmm. You got to have people that push you, not just yes man, people that, you know, that's that's how I learned how to grow as an artist as well, just surrounding myself with like-minded people mm -hmm. and, you know, and, and that's how you learn to get better as an individual, as an artist as well. So. What's a studio session like with Tone Youth? Like, because, you know, when you have four <laughs> people, a collective, like, it's never easy, it's never the same. Chew, what have we got? They're always a, they're always a Everyone cheese looks house. down the end to Chew right here. They're always a cheese house, man. <laughs> we, we're always pretty productive. We, we drink a lot. That's sometimes. Where, that's where, some, sometimes. where the creativity comes from. Yeah, no, we, we are pretty productive. We do a lot of recording um, at mine. We try and... Uh, we've been we've been lazy. I've been traveling. We've But we normally do kind of weekly catch-ups. Whether or not we generate music or not is always up in the air. But, you know, at least... Once a month, we have a pretty serious recording or production mm -hmm. session. Where we yeah. work on tunes, and the guys are always working at studios outside of mine as well. So, it, as a group, as a collective, we're always kind of moving on you know, something mm -hmm. together. But the studio sessions, um, they're always yeah. fun, man. Always a good laugh. Yeah, Chu's got his like little setup there. So, like, I've got some recording gear as well, and like, I will just leave it at Chu's house for big stints, and he's obviously like got his equipment as well. Mm -hmm. So then. Yeah, we'll all just like come around, have beers, have drinks. I don't smoke. Some of the other guys do. Yeah, um, not know. throwing you under the, under yeah, the yeah, bus. Yeah. He said other guys. I won't so. mention any names. Um, and then other like mates and stuff from Frio, like our rolling video that we just put out. You'll see. Congrats all of our on mates. that, man! Uh, you guys cheers. linked up with No Jumper in the states. I want to talk yeah. about that for sure. Yeah. Um, how did that? How did that kind of come about? That you guys, you know, No Jumper is a really an amazing platform for you know people wanting to artists wanting to release music that you know maybe don't have the distribution um set up with with uh record labels and stuff like that so how did you guys link with uh, adam over there well a adam came to perth mm -hmm. um obviously we reached out to him but then at that moment in time it's not like it was a really close relationship but then um my management is pretty close to 
a few people in the States. So mm-hmm. um, then he linked me up with Adam and we, we got that thing going. We sent the, the track and he really, really liked it. And, and it all went from there. So it was pretty good to get that sort of feedback, you know. Mm-hmm. Those are the things that we live for and stuff like that. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, they have such a big, uh, a big platform. What was the moment like when you guys saw that they had posted it on their their Instagram? Because when I kind of got put up on you guys, I was like, all right, looking into the music. And then the moment I was like, oh, shit, no jumper posted them. I was like, all right, these guys have got something going on. How was it for you guys? I think for us, it was just good to get some feedback, you know, to read all the comments and, you know, see all that. That was pretty good because Mm -hmm. that way, I mean, that's how you know that your record is, you know, it's pretty good because you get the feedback from people out there, even people that don't know you, you Mm -hmm. know? Because sometimes people that know you, they can tell you, oh, it's cool, it's cool, but, you know, just because they're friends with you. But then someone that doesn't really know you can tell you something, especially if it's constructive criticism. Yeah. So, yeah, it was pretty cool to see that feedback and, you know, keeps us going. I I think another thing is because they had that platform and they're people from the States, like people instantly viewed the video and would give their feedback like straight away. Yeah. And it's from an American audience. So like, obviously it's good to know that, you know, there's people out there in an American audience that can appreciate music like Mm -hmm. from Australia as well, because obviously if it's just an Australian audience, you're just getting that feedback, but to know Mm -hmm. like, your music could potentially get to an international level or be received like that is cool. Well, it is yeah. being received at international level. So, you know, props to you guys because it's being released on a, a platform that's in the States, you know, where hip hop and, and rap is, you know, at the pinnacle of, of what we kind of put it up against the bar. Are there any, yeah. you know, other collectives out there, you know, now or in the past that kind of you guys, you know, maybe mold yourself or see, you know, different styles in? Obviously, you have individual artists artistries but as a collective is there anyone out there to be honest um we don't really okay we we are inspired by all the other types of music that are out there but we don't really look at it from that standpoint i think for us it's just getting together and coming out of our shells as individuals and you know and just pulling our resources and putting our heads together putting our music together and yeah, and doing that because we are from different we are from different backgrounds, you know. We just put it all together, you know, and, mm-hmm. yeah, and bring it all together. So I can't really say there's there's you know there are collectives out there that we've been watching, but I mean we're fans of of course Save Money, Pro Era, mm-hmm. you know, all those TDE, yeah, yeah, TDE, ASAP yeah. Mob, ASAP all that. Mob, yeah. But we kind of we because we are from Australia, from yeah. different backgrounds. I'm from Africa. Jim is from the UK. They're Australian, like mm-hmm. it's a whole different ball game. But of course, you see something like that, it inspires you to do better in your own skin, mm-hmm. in your own shell, in your own right. You know? Do you so, feel like there's a almost within the within the collective that you guys like challenge each other when you're you're <laughs> rapping? We do. That's a fact. We absolutely do. <laughs> that is you a know, fact. If your fa- if your verse ain't good, you yeah. you probably go back to the drawing board. Mm-hmm. You know? Hey, this guy is many times is like <laughs> I've, I've spat him a verse and he's looked at me and he's like. Come on, man. You can do better. <laughs> does that help? Does that help yeah. you guys um, individually? You know, get to another level. You definitely, know, because you, you hear about these people that are in their their bedrooms and they just go and go and go. You, you don't have any bar to lift to. How is that for you guys? I can I can tell you from the standpoint of recording these guys that. There's even been occasions where, you know, certain members of the group have felt so shut down, they've rewritten whole verses Mm -hmm. and entire songs have been delivered that are of amazing quality. Yeah. And the reason behind that pushing and that that challenge is to just raise the bar. So give me your give me your role in the in the collective chew. Uh, I hold three leashes. All the time. (laughs) (laughs) That's right. (laughs) Nah, nah, I just, um, I'm a beat maker and yeah, I'm a sound engineer and I just Mm -hmm. record the guys and have fun. And because I'm kind of part of the collective, I I just understand them. I get them Mm -hmm. a little bit. I kind of, um, it's a bit easier working with me than like a fresh engineer that doesn't know the guys or the vision. So I just understand the vision and what they want out of most of the, the songs and their music. So, Do you find yourself producing different beats if you're like when you're thinking about who's going to rap over that part or who's going to go harder or is it you just kind of put it out there and you let them do their thing? 
not exactly writing to suit them, more so just writing and going, ooh, I think Rob will like that and put it in the Rob pile mm-hmm. kind of thing. But then again, I get surprised every time. You know, I'll I'll put up beats that I think, you know, Soxy's going to grab mm-hmm. and I'll just get this like, nah, man, cold shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> what? And then, this and then shit's Jimmy, hard. Yeah, yeah. And Jimmy will be like, yeah, I love that and, and grab it, you know. So it's it's just kind of always difficult to pick who's mm-hmm. going to kind of want to go with what. But. What's what's your process like in creating the sound? Because the production level of, of what you guys are putting out is at the level that I think, you know, the states will be able to digest it. I think that's been an issue over the past with Australian hip hop is that the production level is not as a high enough quality. So where does that come from you that you understand that's what you need to be able to get to that level? Uh, I won't let anything leave that's not of an internationally competitive standard mm-hmm. at, all. at all. I mean, when we first got together, a couple of the guys wanted to put out songs, not mastered, not this, not that. Yeah. It's not, if it can't compete, you know, Why how's you it going to reach an audience? You know, we need to, we, we need to compete. I understand that standard and I'm, I'm going to make everything translate at that level. Mm-hmm. And I just won't let it go until it's at that level. What are you guys working on right now as a, as a collective? Are you working on doing a project? Are you working on just doing singles each time? What's the, the go? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you're done with this now. Hey? <laughs> like, hey. I mean, from working, um, we're working on music. Yeah, we're working on material and content. <laughs> That's we can't give too much away. Yeah, we're very sick. Yeah, it's yeah. good. You know, we, we we that's that's that that's where it ends. We're just working on a few special things for. Yeah, know. you've got our show coming up um, at Badlands August twenty third uh, for Platform. Uh, yeah. What what should Perth expect to kind of like see from the collective when you guys get on stage? Definitely like energy mm-hmm. and like charisma. Um, we have many different types of tracks, and because we're all solo artists as well, um, and we have like you know a catalog of solo songs to potentially play, you can expect like different styles. Like, mm-hmm. so it it will be it will be like a big mash of all of that into one. So yeah. it'll be like collective songs that we put out. It could be unreleased songs we ha- um have like yet to put out it could be solo songs it could be Shu um showcasing his production for like 10 minutes just playing like slappers that he has yeah um could be a bit of everything so yeah we're just gonna mix it up we're what just it? gonna keep it real live mm-hmm. <laughs> real vibe real real life <laughs> so if, if you don't know who we are hopefully after then you're gonna be like oh who are these guys you know and you want to yeah. follow us and no, yeah. What would you say to people that are, you know, that that haven't seen you guys live or haven't, you know, had a chance to really like touch and listen to your music? What are you about? Like, what, what, what about socks and what about the collective that they need to be up on? Well, they just need to know that it's 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 unique. You know, it's Definitely four different unique. guys from four different backgrounds giving some giving something fresh to the game. Mm-hmm. Um, you know. I know I know there's nothing new under the sun, but it's probably something that you probably haven't experienced, you know. But mm-hmm. we wanna give you that experience from our perspective, from where we are from, like where we sit as individuals, as human beings and as a group as well. I yeah. felt like there's something special in Perth with music and the fact that like artists get around each other. You know, it's competitive but they also love to work with each other they love to push each other and i feel like you know i've been in a lot of places where you see artists that almost pull down the other artists that are around them to try to you know tall poppy syndrome is that something like how do you feel about the the music scene in in perth at the moment i think we've got a great scene going you know and shout out to everybody doing their thing man let's Mm -hmm. get it yeah there's a lot of talent yeah. And a lot of people that like are doing really great things, but just need that opportunity, which is obviously what you guys are about. Exactly. It's like there's a lot of people doing great things that have great sounds, great ideas, but they just need to be able to project it to the next level. I think that's the, the thing with Perth is that the talent is like 100% there. It's just, it, it just needs like a little bit of a leg up, just that like one spark of opportunity, you know? Yeah. Well, you know, I appreciate, we definitely appreciate you guys being a part of a, a platform because, you know, it's, it's going to, obviously take it to that next level and it's going to show artists that you know this is one of the spots within australia and you know hopefully we take it even further that 
you know, we can give that opportunity. And, you know, having you guys a part of it, we really appreciate it. And I know the people can't wait to see you guys uh, August 23rd when you play out at Badlands for Platform. We're yeah. looking forward to it, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Appreciate it, guys. Wait. We can't wait to see you people, too. Get around Thanks. him. Yeah. Get around him. <laughs> this guy. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Perfect. Thanks, guys. Awesome. I appreciate that.